When I'm not busy stalking the office with Skittles, I'm watching idiotic ramblings. Come on now! Never turn on fast enough, man. How you coming? You don't like? I'm gonna run it. I love those F-Type Jaguars. Those are hard to Beautiful. The hard one's very sexy too. Very, very sexy. So we have arrived. Okay, so we're all checked in with this first guard shack. Uh, now we go to the second guard shack and check in. And uh, yeah, we got takeout delivery uh, menus there for local eateries if you want to order food or deliver it. It's like a $5 delivery charge for one, and the other one is a $17 minimum purchase. I didn't need anything. I got food in the truck. I got I still got Popeye's chicken. And uh, we got a lot of junk to do anyway. So we are here. We're going to crawl down here and uh, park it for the day. And uh, yeah, this is awesome, man. So even the Google said that first guard shack's real friendly, but the second guard shack is a rude jerks. We're going to go all the way down to the very end. Which is down where that second guard check is. Park it for the day. And, uh, they said go ahead and check in. That way they bring the first one they call in the morning. So that's, uh, cool. And he said, yeah, then we'll fill up later tonight. Yeah, he said we could drop the trailer and bobtail go eat. Do whatever, but yeah, we're good. We've got everything we need right here in the truck. It's supposed to be a restaurant for the second guard shack. So we are good, man. We're crawling because the e-logs are on duty. And uh we'll go ahead and show unloading it today on the e-log section. These guys have dropped their trailers for whatever reason. I don't know why. Every one of them has dropped their trailer. I hope we don't have to drop the trailer. I don't know. Maybe they just, I don't know what to do. You know? I don't know. John's up, we want to park by that guy. Nose up to the guard shack, or if we just want to. Park back here on the back row and uh, back in next to those trailers, you know. That's new. That was pulled here beside this guy. Hopefully, it won't make it hard to get into the guard shack in the morning. We can always move later. Look at that, we got bird's eye view of the guard shack. Come on. I love it. Okay, see y'all tomorrow. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, 6.51. We are unloaded. Here at this CNS grocery distribution warehouse in uh, Upper Marlboro, Maryland. The load that we brought all the way out of Santa Rosa, California. 
had a 7 a.m. appointment. They woke me up at 4 a.m., which was sucked. Now, Roger. Anyway, they got us up at 4, has on the dock, has unloaded off the dock about 5.15. We didn't actually hit the dock till like 10 minutes to 5. Uh, had it off the truck at 10 after 5. And uh, then we sat there waiting on paperwork until just now. Paid them $144 to pull their apple cider off. So we are unloaded. Now we are on our way to the uh, next location. Cleared one guard shack. Let's go see if we can clear this other guard shack. And um, hopefully it will not be any big issue. So let's go see what they want. Y'all have a good day and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Well, I want to talk to y'all a long time ago, but we left the camera turned on, the battery died. Uh, we got our little uh, hour. Anyway, I think this beautiful day. Gorgeous there, right? Got our other load picked up. And we are on our way to Knoxville. Yes, the audio is not good because the microphone is not plugged in. Good morning. We well, yeah, fixed to get our day started. Just got there doing our pre trip. We'll go unload our freight and go get the truck washed. You guys want to see it? Hang on, let's go look at the truck. Just show you what we are working with today. Uh, now, keep in mind that we got 3,300 miles on this one before, on this wash job. Look at that. Let's look at that. Steel clean. Except for all the bugs up here and on the stacks and the visor and the mirrors. But we have not had no rain all the way from Santa Rosa, California to Upper Marlboro, Maryland and back down here to Knoxville, Tennessee. Zero rain. So we're going to get it washed today uh, after we unload it. Um, get it washed and take it home clean we got some things to handle at the house and uh, so we'll take it home clean park it in the yard because don't know if it'll come back out Friday today is Tuesday I got some stuff to handle on Wednesday so I don't know if it'll come back out Thursday or Friday or Monday but we'll get her washed get all the bugs off of it and uh, so yeah she held up really really good man get it on the road so anyway there you are back apart on the dash where you belong so you guys sit there try to behave yourselves and uh, and don't do any unnecessary ruckus or jumping around and making the driver nervous we do not want to make the driver nervous today I'm gonna punch in my address. It's not, I couldn't find it. There it is. Thunder Lane. Let's go find Thunder Lane there. Come on. All right, GPS. Head southwest toward I 81 South. Navigating. E logs have a full break. We're good to go, people. Let's get this, let's get this show on the road there. Come in. We, uh, was gonna go all the way to the customer because we could have parked there. 
and uh, I was just tired, man. That stupid grocery distribution warehouse got me up at four in the morning yesterday, and then uh, so we stopped there. Ta uh, Greenville. That didn't call it. It's not really Greenville. It's Ta there too. The old Davy Crockett Ta. Boy, I tell you what, they they really turned that truck stop into something nice, man. They, they remodeled that thing and they got a IHOP in there, Papa John's in there. Which I got a free pizza. We'll get into that in a moment. Uh, but yeah, that, that truck stop has came a long ways, buddy. It looks good now. I liked it. Very impressive. So we were going to stay there, but shoot, man, parking was just all jacked up. And uh, so we come down here to this rest area that not very many know about because that rest area is not listed in the book or navigational devices that I know of. And it's a big rest area. I don't know why. It's been there forever. Uh, but she, you know, so it's just, it's just not there. And uh, so anyway, we parked it there. And uh, about 10 o'clock last night. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock straight up. So now we're good to go. Now that we got our eight hours sleep, we went to the customer. We probably wouldn't have got eight hours sleep. So anyway, we're gonna go here and unload this um, half a load of product and go get the truck washed and go home and handle some very important business. <laughs> anyway, so good morning, everybody. Oh yeah, the free pizza. So there's a sign above the pump. I was just gonna get 100 gallons of diesel, just enough fuel to get me home. Uh, well, no use of buying a whole lot of diesel to park in the yard. Uh, and the sign said, uh, buy 125 gallons of diesel get a free pizza oh, okay cool so I put 125.5 in it and uh, called the phone number Papa John said hey I just got 125 gallons of pizza I'd like uh, diesel I'd like a pizza and she said okay what do you want and I just did sausage because uh, you know just I get tired of playing old boring pepperoni I went there man there's a big old gigantic large pizza totally free you know and she didn't even check my fuel receipt but anyway so yeah we we got a free pizza back here in the fridge and that big old box fit in that refrigerator had to take a shelf out of it but it fit uh anyway man she's pretty cool stuff so thank you ta and papa john's for the free pizza we're back quiet well we are almost there that was a short uh 28 mile jog time we left the rest area not too shabby we just got to find our place up here thunder lane that feeling that's it right down here with that green sign and a yellow probably means dead end Oh, la, la, la. Yep, dead end. Lovely. I love going down dead end roads there. Come on. But we're going to have a little faith in our system here that this is where we got to go. I looked at Google Maps and everything said you could park on the side of the road, so yeah, there's a bunch of geese over here. So yeah, I guess we could have parked here, but we would have been in the way. They got up here toward our gates and cul-de-sac, so coulda, woulda, shoulda, but we were we wanted sleep in a bathroom. Your destination will be on the left. <laughs> yeah, so we got tucked into this little cove right here last night, but we did not want to do that. Let's see, all other traffic, um, receiving freight only, okay. That took me a minute to see that, doggone it. Incoming freight, this is what we are. Incoming freight, come in. We're coming in, people. Get out of my way, we're coming in. Beautiful. This guy probably wondering what we got. 
What are we doing? What's up? Or that he's just admiring it. Yep, put the brake on. Here he is. He's going to talk to us. He's going to talk to us. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How you doing? Good, you? Wonderful. Man, that's snazzy. Thank you. That is beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Is that blue truck? Yep. See that railing on this side of it? Yep. There's two doors right there. Pick either one. Pick either one. Either one. If I can't get any one of them, you got any other options? I'm a rookie, man. No. <laughs> yeah, there's a pilot about 18 miles down the road. Find me another driver. Find another driver who can back in up there. You got it, boss. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> he took back. He stepped back, looked at the rig, like, yeah, I'm not buying that. I'm telling you, man, I'm a bloody rookie. Come on. All right, let's go get her done. And we are crawling there. Come on. I get to pick my, take my choice of doors. Which one do you guys want? I think I want the one on the left. Oh, it's an inside door. Oh, lovely. Just lovely, lovely. I think I want the one on the left because it'll make it easier to get out. Well, I gotta put an inside dock in there for a man. But I got a backup light there, Roger. Got a backup light, they got painted lines, they got lighted uh, plates on the dock. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be a piece of cake. It's gonna be a walk in the park, man. Nothing but a thing there, come on. One way, do not enter. Yeah, well, watch me. Watch me, man. Watch me. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go open the doors. I forgot to turn the bloody camera back on. Sorry about that, guys. We're on the line, but I think we might be too far to the right. Let's go look at it. They have the lighted docks right here. It's really cool. Oh, I see my, uh, I need to put my wheels back, I think. There's a hump there. Let's check our dock height. Oh, the dock height is perfect. Yeah, it's gonna work fine. It's gonna work out fine. So the wheels are on the hump. It's gonna work out fine. Fine, fine, fine. I don't see any wheel chocks. There's one over there. All right, good deal. We got her done. We got her done. Put her right in the hole. I wish I had that on camera, but I did not. All right, let's go get some bills. Uh, hand it off to him. Well, here it is 20 minutes later and we are empty. Going to the truck wash. Come on, 9:30 a.m. We're gonna go wash the truck and go home. There, Roger, Roger, Reggie. Copy that. Over and out. That was a beautiful, easy run. Love it. I guess it could turn on all the navigational de devices. So we don't get home, so we don't get lost going home because you know how it is. The, the rookie truck driver like myself do not know how to find ourselves out of a wet paper sack. Come on. I could have got on the Uber board or JP Hot board so we can find a load going home, but what would be the fun of that? You know, that would be no fun. Right? Right. It took 20 minutes, we didn't have time to get nothing done. Holy smokes. Holy smokes, man. I will see y'all later. Breaker Breaker 19. This is the Dominator with EJP Transport. And when I'm not running up and down the highway, loading and unloading my wagon, I'm watching Tim on Life is Good. Come on.